Yep, it's that time again. Time for another bike ride. As you can see, the bike. Let's get this thing out. Let's get ready to go. All right, I need both of my hands actually for this. So, got out of work super early today. I'm gonna hit the bike and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try and do 10 miles in under 50 minutes, which isn't bad, but we'll see if I could do it. falling quick here there's so much like yellow red leaves already on the ground it's absolutely insane how quickly the leaves change and start falling this trail that I'm going around is about 5.1 miles an hour or 5.1 miles and it's completely packed with people like all the time how I didn't run into anyone is complete shock right now it's a lot harder than it looks which is okay this is what I get myself into oh that's a good spot to put the camera down add some cinematic effect to the video I don't know if that one will make it but hey doesn't hurt to try. Just want to let you guys know. Hold on. Let me switch gear. Whoa. All right. Just want to let you guys know why I actually ride my bike rather than run, which I'm going to start running soon. But for right now, I just ride my bike because my knees ache, my shins ache, my feet hurt. So I like to ride the bike to kind of have the same effect as running but not as much strain on my knees and my feet although I do run it's just not very far at least with the bike I could bike 10 miles and still feel pretty good must be some sort of school event going on there's all these bags here there's like a million people on the trail. The worst thing about coming to this trail, so like I said, it's like 5.1 miles. It's long, but the people that come here don't know what side to stay on. If you're running on the trail, bikers yield to you and you yield to horses. It's not that difficult, but people that run, run like five wide, seven wide, and you're trying to bike, it's like, dude, I can't go through, you move over. But for some reason, no matter where you go, bikers always, I mean, runners always seem to do that. I could be all the way to the right of the lane and they'll still want to push me further into the grass. So if you're a runner out there, just stay on your side, run too deep when bikers are coming. That's my rant. So. I got five miles done already on the second lap of five and I'd say I'm pulling about 13 miles an hour. All right, let me get back to biking. That was my rant about runners. Just there's no reason to take up the whole you know road. Look how big it is. See where my bike is? I got the whole road. It's just not necessary, man. It just makes you guys all look like jerks. All right, back to my ride. Dude, the people love me out here. Let's go, let's go. Look at all the love that I'm getting. Look, I even got a finish line. I'm famous. Dude, they absolutely look at all my fans back there. Oh no, it's the wrong way. Back there. 
I can't figure it out. But they love me. About to pass that finish line. Finish. 10 miles. Let's see what we ran in it. Alright guys, let's see how fast I actually did that in. Results ready. Not bad. 10.7 miles in 50 minutes. So that's 25 minute every 5.35 miles. That's not bad. After that run, I feel pretty good. I want to take a little bit of time out of this vlog here to tell you why I decided to go ahead and do daily vlogs. It's not that it's hard, it's definitely not hard to have a camera film myself while going around every day. The only thing that's kind of difficult is setting up angles. It's kind of difficult to edit. Difficult to kind of think of what to do that's going to be entertaining for you guys to watch. I don't really do too much, but I definitely keep busy. But I keep busy by eating a lot. And recently I've been on a diet, so I haven't been eating a lot. This daily vlog is kind of an excuse or a reason to get outside and to do things. It's an excuse to document what I've been doing so I can go back and look at how my life's been and how things go throughout my day. It's also a way for me to connect with people that also share the same interest in my area along with everywhere else so that we can kind of build off of each other or build some sort of system but a lot of people say that it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be busy to do daily vlogs it's so far I've done four days and it's not bad at all I've just been having the camera with me I've been setting up angles I've been doing time lapses I've been trying to think of things to do that you guys would like but I don't have cool meetings to go to I don't have cool things to do after work so I ride my bike, I eat food, and I try to find things that are around the way to do. If any of you are from New Jersey and you have things that you want to do, let me know. Maybe I'll try them out too and maybe we can meet up and try them together. For some reason, I always think it looks cool to walk through doors on vlogs. Man, look how cool that looked. Man, that looked cool. All right, so I'm meeting Megan's sister, and I believe Megan's cousin here. Let's see if we can find him. Yo, what up guys, here are my friends. That's my friend. I don't have friends. Can you just buy this gold one? This one, I was just looking at this. Sparkle, sparkle. Do I look like I'm going to my sweet 16? I <laughs> look like you're going on 15. <laughs> Bye. Yo, just got done hanging with Jenny and Ashley. Cruising the mall. The mall's kind of fun. I will say that. I want to stop at Stefan, tell him thanks for the stickers and that I appreciate his his sticker love. The mall's gonna be closing any minute. Megan's gonna be leaving work any minute. But that's okay. We'll make it in time. Stefan said he wanted to be in the vlog. He's trying to make a clothing line. Deviant Riders is a sticker. It's pretty sick. I told him I'd come back, put him in the vlog, so I can't, I can't bail on that. If he's here, look, he's in the, he's in the safe. He doesn't even know I'm here. What up? Yo, what up? So I told everyone on the, on the vlog here oh, nice. that. Uh, I would put you in it. Thank you. And I already shouted out your deviant riders. <laughs> and there was two guys with motorcycle helmets up in the um, food court. They also got two stickers. There you go. Dude, I'm hooking it up. 
Guys, this is Stefan, he's the man. Deviant Riders. Definitely look into that, man. What's it? What's it on Instagram? Deviant underscore Riders? Yep. Check, Check it, out. it out. I'll put a link in the description, man. It's, it's sick. And he keeps coming up with new logos literally every single day. Yeah.